future of the world is in cities, we know this. And in Vancouver alone, we have 100,000 undergraduates who are sitting in classrooms trying to prepare for their futures. And it matters that this large community of young people with a desire for change and a passion for change are given the opportunity to start doing it now. Hello everyone, welcome. We're really excited to be in City Hall for the first time with one of our events and our project showcase. We have students from six of the public post-secondary institutions in Vancouver coming together and we have faculty as well. We take students from all the different institutions and those students co-create and design uh, projects on the ground with city staff. So you're going to get a taste of some of those projects today. We set up a blog where people could anonymously submit their own stories of harassment on transit or around transit. We aimed to increase community safety by illuminating Vancouver's dark spaces during the dark winter months. I'm working with City Studios in the core session, which means me and a group of other students work with City Studios um, once a week in an intensive course and we try to get projects that embrace the community and some of Vancouver's greenest city goals and we try to get those projects on the ground happening within a semester. Today I presented on my project that I've been doing with City Studio, which is Urban Campfire. Um, and we're trying to get a campfire within the city to bring people together. This is our project, A Shot of Nature, and this is our prototype for a green wall that we plan to have children produce in their classrooms. We're inside City Hall for the entire day, and the day is divided into two parts. The first part is a, a, a way to share with all the folks in City Hall what we've been working on in the past year. All of the projects that we've been working on, all the partner courses that we've developed, and all the projects that have hit the ground in the city. This is not just a great experience for you. This is a life-altering experience for our organization. And then uh, we share a lunch together. And then after lunch, we ask the question, what should we be working on next? So when we ask the question, what should we be working on next, we want the staff and the students and the folks present to build on the morning dialogue to start to develop ideas about what, what, what other ways we can hit the ground, what things are they working on that they want help with, and uh, what are the possibilities for more projects developing out of ideas that may be generated just from the discussion, as well as from what staff is working on. Public gathering spaces in Burnaby. Trans-suburb forest walks, central Burnaby. Hello. Walkable suburbs, North Van, and public people roosts. Uh, mobile Market, the food food truck in downtown. So we will uh, photograph them all and put them up and they will feed into our project development process for next term. So we right now have a list of 80 projects that City are interested in working on and we always think of those as projects that are not on the center of the desk but sort of on the side of their desk, things that they're interested in but don't have time to work on. We try to get them working on very high quality projects and we try to introduce them to high quality networks. So the idea that they're working directly with staff is key but given that we want them to continue this work after the course is over, they now know staff that they can call. It might be interesting no, I, to explore the potential of a, um, you know, a fostered fire. We actually were contacted by Transit Police to uh, get involved in their anti-harassment campaign in the upcoming year. So we had a very real, measured, like measurable effect, uh, which was incredibly empowering and something that I didn't expect to get from the class. For me, I'm in business, right? So um, I feel like this is uh, really different from my faculty. Uh, this is the first project I ever built, and it's really hands-on. And um, I feel like uh, this project can make a change in our city, and I hope to do that. Large circle. Okay. Large circle. Great. Okay. All right. So we started to think of this as the classroom of the future. The classroom of the future needs to be more mentorship intensive, project based, more immersive, more exper experiential, more engaged. And I think that energy is there, but we have to find unique ways of um, getting that energy and really harnessing it. So the question we ask on the first day of class is what matters most? And we keep asking the questions, what matters most, why are you here, what are you going to do in the world? I think that's what education was for. It's answering the big questions about what's your purpose, how are you going to make an impact in the world, and what's that going to look like.